Welcome back, everybody. So, we have a very special treat in store for us tonight. A couple things. One, we've already proven that there's no collusion. That's one. Two, since we're sitting here at home quarantined with the China virus, we're going to make a white Russian. Now that we know we're going to make a white Russian, the ingredients, very important. Come a little closer. We're gonna start with the vodka, right? We're gonna go with Tito's, American made. Listen, here's the deal. If you wanna buy some expensive Grey Goose or Belvedere, you can do that. But we all know, <clears throat> we all know that once vodka is triple distilled or more, you can't taste the difference. Tito's, that's the way to go. The liqueur, come on, no brainer. Kahlua, not much to say there. We all know it. It's a fan favorite. Now, here's where we've got something special in store. A lot of people like to mix cream with their white Russians. A little too heavy for this guy. A lot of people like to do skim milk, not nearly enough. What we are gonna do, we are gonna go with whole milk, organic, from Zeal. In case you did not know, Zeal is one of the hottest milks on the market. I still like Fairlife because they make skim milk. Only whole milk here, chocolate and white. And then we've got the shaker. We got some ice, we got the, the highball glass, we got the pour. All right, now we're gonna mix the ingredients. We're gonna start with the vodka, putting it into the shaker, of course. Uh, let's do a little vodka. Uh, Tito's. Now we're gonna flip it over, use a small side for the whole milk. Again, no cream, no skim milk. This is whole, the good stuff. There we go, and then of course, the Kahlua. Now, I'm only supposed to do one. I'm gonna do a little bit more, give it a, a little more of uh, that Kahlua flavor. Uh, maybe another half pour, there we go. And then we are going to shake it. However, I have a guest shaker. And here we go. The star shaker, Chloe Ann Farrell, nine years old. So first thing we're gonna do is put the top on the shaker. Give it a nice little tap to make it sound there nice and firm. Then we're gonna pick it up and shake, shake, shake. Harder, harder, more shaking. Oh yeah, there we go. That That is that is one heck of a shaker. So we are good. Go ahead and put that down. I think it's shaking up a perfect amount. And now for the fancy pour. We're gonna take off the top. There we go. Get the strainer, flip it the other way. And let's pour this thing in there. Oh yeah, technique is amazing. Simply amazing. Wow, that looks good. Okay. And of course, the best part, here we go. The taste test. If it's not good, I'm gonna blame the pourer. Delightful. Perfect, have a good night.